Hello everyone, this is Chris with AOUsers.com. Um, this is probably going to be the last speed test I do from the home. I'm uh, going to note again that download speeds are not that good from my home in general. Uh, we're going to test it uh, on AT&T and AO. Uh, of course, AO is owned by AT&T. However, since it is prepaid, they can really do whatever they want with the brand. Uh, so we will try to show you the differences uh, in speed here. I'm going to go ahead and take out my AT&T card and pop in the AO SIM card. This is the first time I've placed it in the LG Optimus G Pro. The APN will change due to the AO wireless card being in there. Uh, I believe it's the MNC. It will change from at and 410 to 150 which will be the required change to get data working. The other settings will allow the phone to get MMS still so you don't have to change anything there if you're coming over from an AT&T phone. You don't even have to unlock the device. Look at this. AO just gave me a uh, code for a couple free movie tickets. Uh, awesome. I've been waiting for that code. Alright, let's go to speed test. Let's see. Let's let all that download. Let's go ahead and get off of Wi Fi. Let's use our HTC One here. Go to the speed test also. You can see right there AT&T. And you should be able to see AO right there up in the corner. So let's make sure these are on the same server. We'll go with Comcast, Houston on both of them. Should register with the network in a second. Let's make sure the APNs are correct. Ooh, looks like we're going to have to create a new APN here. This is the only device that I've had to do this. Alright, that's interesting. First time I've had to do that. I didn't enter the MMS settings. I'll go through and show you how to set up each one of these devices. Uh, really easy for the Galaxy S4 and the HTC One in other videos. Alright, let's hit begin test. And this is what I saw with the other devices too. Low ping time on AT&T. On AO, ping time's a little bit higher. And as you can see, it is throttled back a little. We're talking about 2,000 pretty much kilobits per second versus a little over 9,000 uh, kilobits per second with AT&T. Download speeds come in a little bit closer to each other. Now we're talking about almost 1700 kilobits per second and around 1900 kilobits per second here. Uh, let's go ahead and swap out the cards and see what results we get. Before I leave the LG Optimus G Pro, let me note that I did get this message and this did pop up on the Galaxy S4 2 setting message. Click here to install phone settings and it sent an APN for AO uh, Internet and AO MMS. Go ahead and hit install. 
So now if we go down, hit settings, let's go to tethering and networks, mobile networks, APNs. You can see that we have an AO wireless internet APN and we have the AO MMS one. Let's just make sure that the speed test doesn't get better results with those particular ones installed. So the ping time was still a little lengthy. Download speed is 7,154 kilobits per second. Upload speed around the same. Let's just switch the LG Optimus G Pro to AT&T postpaid a normal AT&T account and see what the results are. Alright, back on a normal AT&T account. Ping time 59 milliseconds. And this time it looks like the download speeds are going to be around the same as AO. So for the majority of tests I've done it's had slower speeds, but here, uh, ping time 59 milliseconds, download speed on AT&T 6,011 kilobits per second, and upload of 1,233 kilobits per second. So in general, I had gotten slower download speeds with AO. However, uh, most people will find them quite adequate for uh, streaming media or downloading files pretty quickly. Basically, most of the stuff that you have to do with a premium smartphone device. So, please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's viewers like you that allow me to do this. Basically, I went out and paid for this AO uh, service just so I could do these tests and uh, spread some knowledge about the service. Alright, thanks a lot.